Hey, welcome everyone. This video, we're gonna get a little bit more experience working with numbers inside of Python. So nothing too crazy here, probably just some review of some math stuff you probably weren't paying attention to in school, sort of like me, but don't worry, we're not gonna get into anything advanced, just, just the basics. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there. So again, I've shown you guys this example like three times, but you can type a simple expression and get a value returned to us. But the plus is not the only thing we can do. And just for another vocabulary here, this plus is known as an operator. So anytime you think of an operator, just think it does some stuff on some values and gives us something in return. So five divided by five, this division, that is another operator we can use. These are known as arithmetic or arithmetic operators. So five divided by five, we get 1.0. Cool, what, what other ones are there? Well, there's five minus three. There's a minus operator, which will give us two and then five times four will give us 20. So those are the four basic operations of math that you should know about, but the cool thing is we can, we can put these in a sequence and do more than that. So for example, we could say five plus three minus two, and that gives us the value six. Now, we are going to talk about precedence which is an important thing. If you remember in math, you know, like the division and the multiplication happens before addition and subtraction. The same thing applies inside of Python and pretty much every programming language. So <laughs> it's important to understand that. So if we do something like five plus three times two, well, this is going to happen first, the three times two. So we're actually going to have five plus six, which will evaluate to 11. So we're gonna talk about all the different precedence rules in the next video, but for now, just understand that you can mix all kinds of different operators, and it's just important to understand what order they happen in so you get the right value. The reason this is important is because, well, obviously we wanna get the right value. However, when we're working with code, we don't want to have deployed applications that are, are working like they run but the actual expect the actual outcome of the application is incorrect that would be known as a logical error a logical error is when the code works and you can give it to people to use but the results are not giving what would be expected so it's also known as a bug we don't want bugs in our software. So always be careful and anytime you can be really clear, even if it takes a couple extra steps of coding, I would recommend that just to make sure that you don't make mistakes looking at the code or if other developers are using your code, that they don't get confused. And ultimately it just allows for more scalable code. So the main thing you need to take away from this video are the four basic math operators, plus division, minus, and multiplication. So make sure you understand the characters for each of those. The ones that you might need to just pay a little extra attention to are the division and the multiplication, as these show up a little bit different than they might on paper. So that is known as a forward slash, and this is known as an asterisk. When it comes to the slash, you can tell if it's forward or back by the top of the slash. So this is a forward slash where this is a backslash the top of the slash is pointing back or to the left. And this is a forward slash where the top is pointing forward or to the right. So minor detail, maybe I'm being nitpicky, but it's just a thing that people often get incorrect. They will call it a backslash when it's actually a forward slash and vice versa. So those are the four basic operators. Upcoming next, we're gonna talk about precedence rules and just how to do different things with the precedents so you can force certain precedents. So if you have no idea what I'm talking about, stay tuned for the next one and stay in school. Okay, that was a terrible ending.